August 2nd, 2.22 p.m. Doing some more experimenting with the gas fire stove here. We uh, found if you load it up with too much wood too quickly, they can sometimes snuff out the, uh, the process. And what was happening, we're getting lots of smoke off this thing. Or I should say, when I say smoke, a lot of water vapor and some flammable vapors too. It would turn it basically into a smoke generating machine. We had to use the torch over here to light it back on fire. We did, we got the chimney back on it now. It's burning uh, quite well. I'll show you a picture of what it looks like down the chimney. Burning very vigorously. Uh, like I said, it seems to be doing fairly well. But we have to be careful on how we feed it. Probably a better method of feeding would be some sort of continuous or semi-continuous method where you have an auger or a conveyor once in a while putting, uh, putting wood chips into it, or wood pellets into it. As it is right now, we just keep hand feeding it with handfuls and batches, and that seems to give kind of erratic operation. Having the chimney on it, of course, dramatically improve, improves the draft to the point we hardly even need the fan anymore. Although having this fan here has been helpful, turning the airflow up and down and watching the effect it has on the fire. Um, anyway, it's been an interesting process. Still haven't gotten blue flames out of it. And it looks like we may be losing one of the seals on the, uh, the construction of the uh, gas fire stove. We used a, a tape, a duct tape, to a metalized duct tape to seal off one of the inside parts. And it looks like from the outside that tape's burning off. So we may have lost one of our air seals in here which would mean some of the air coming in is not getting preheated the way it should be before it enters the secondary combustion uh, orifices. So uh, things may be running a little bit worse than they should be since we don't have a proper seal. But anyway, got the chimney back on it. We got a really heavily stoked uh, or stocked fire pot in there, a combustion pot. It's almost three quarters full of wood pellets. And so we'll see how it handles here with a much fuller load of fuel than before.